Alright, go ask the V2. And I get quick to go. There we go, we got it. Woo! Got the double, boys. Let's go. Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the no skill automaton here in season 1 of Call of Duty Vanguard. What I got for you guys today is a double V2 rockets, two nukes in one game using this automaton class up that literally, literally has zero recoil. So with all being said, the like goal on this video has to be 500 likes. We can get 500 likes in under 24 hours, that'd be absolutely incredible man, now let me know down in the comment section right now what is the one gun here in vanguard season one that takes no skill i'm talking about the easiest to use weapon in this game honestly i think it has to be the automaton but hey let me know what y'all think if you guys do know the video or i should say if you guys want to just be a part of the channel and want to be notified when i upload any and all best class setups best settings tips and tricks or just anything about call of duty vanguard or warzone make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel turn on the post case blah, 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 blah. let's get right into the gameplay we're gonna end the game too fast damn it Damn, we're gonna end the game way too quick. Unless all my teammates decide to just collectively get off the, the point. That ain't gonna happen though. Damn! That was a Wow. Hey someone watch maybe like one minute of it from 130, it's gonna pop off. Easily. Just gotta hope the thumbnail's good. Oh my god, bro. Ooh, so quad. Uh, you see a picture of P in the timeline? Did you see a picture of AFK's? Oh my god. Wait, did, yeah. did you see that? Yeah. Is she kind of, is she like, she looked preggo. No, dude, he looks a lot heavier than before. Yeah. Oh my god, though. stream. He, yeah, he lost 23 pounds in a day or something. That's what he said. That's what he said. Or he said he lost 23 pounds. Or no, sorry, he said he lost 23 pounds in a month. That's possible, yeah. You have your fucking locked in. <laughs> I don't think he's that locked in. Like, that, I mean, that's insane. That's like cardio every day, like, you know, all over. Death, super deficit. Like, you're. That's what he said, but I mean, not true. Maybe you got a, maybe you lost some water weight. You think he took himself the end, he took himself at the end of the day, and you know, one day before he took a shit, you know, he's super heavy. He's like, fuck, that shit just listen. Yeah. You can drop a couple pounds, you know, after, you know, at the end of the day, taking a dump. Yeah. Yeah, he did look. Wait, he's gonna look a little bit bigger. Maybe she is pregnant and he's hiding. Oh, I don't know. Is that girl was doing her justice right there or something? That's hey, like, look, I'm gonna. Y'all gotta. You're... What? Getting dizzy. Attack dogs inbound. Hell of a guard dog on the way here. Baker is lost. They're taking Abel. All right, that's the V2. And I get quick scope. Friendly bombing run inbound. Friendly guard dog on his way. Double kill. This, guy, this map has a badass glare on it. 
Oh my god, no. Capturing Charlie. I'm dead. Yeah, terrible ass spawn, bro. Guy sniping. That spawn is literally terrible. Like, how do? Why? Why would they spawn? That's annoying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a full stack, bro. It is actually kind of hard to see, like, on this map. Like, the sun glare, like, holy shit. Securing Charlie. Dude, my eyes are going out. Thank God he missed, I didn't see him. I'm not calling in my bombing run. They're taking charge. Charlie is lost. Really? Oh my god, there he is right there. This is not good. I'm going back by A. Capturing Charlie. Hostile recon in the air. Spy in the sky. Recon airport. There we go, we got it. Woo! Got the double, boys. Let's go. He left the game, the dap kid. How many kills I got? 77? That's not bad. This is actually my first double on this map. Actually, this is my first nuke at all on this map, actually.
I'm gonna just call the nuke in. Go, baby. Let's go. The nuke. All right, let's go ahead and create the absolute best and the fastest killing automaton class setup here in season one of Call of Duty Vanguard. This gun really doesn't take that much skill to use. It's really a point and shoot AR that doesn't move. Let's go ahead and build this no recoil class setup. So for the automaton, we're gonna run it with the MX silencer so we have sound suppression as well as accuracy. Like a lot of my low recoil AR builds, I'm always running the MX silencer over that mercury silencer because I do not wanna go ahead and reduce that damage range and we're not gonna benefit from the recoil control because these guns already don't move. Now for the underbarrel, we're gonna go ahead and throw on the M3 ready grip. So we have increased aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, as well as aim walking movement speed. Overall, a fantastic attach to run on a low recoil weapon to make it a little bit easier to use at those close to medium ranges because we don't need that much of additional recoil control. Now for the barrel, we're gonna go ahead and run the first Zack barrel because it allows us to have highly accurate and controllable as well as reduced scope sway and gun bob. Overall, a fantastic barrel to run on the automaton and in my personal opinion, the best barrel to use out of the entire category. Now, for the magazine, we're going to run the 45 round mags because none of these are going to actually help us out in the long run. I don't feel we need the 71, uh, the 75, excuse me, 71, like the PPS states even more. 75 round drum, it's just not necessary. The 45 round is going to be plenty, and we're not going to go ahead and slow down our aim down sight speed and our movements need nearly as much. Now for the ammo type, we're gonna go ahead and throw on lengthen, so we have increased bullet velocity. In my opinion, the absolute best ammo type to run on any weapon here in Call of Duty Vanguard. For the optic, we have the slate reflector because it's gonna be the cleanest optic picture for the automaton. And because this is a low recoil precision AR, you want to have a clean optic, so it's easy to take enemies out at close range, medium range, as well as long ranges. Now, for the rear grip, we're going to go ahead and throw on the fabric grips. We have increased aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, as well as hip fire recoil recovery. Overall, again, a fantastic attachment to run on this weapon to kind of make it a little bit easier to use at those close to medium ranges. And to wrap up the setup, we're going to run the Zack Skeletal because we want to have increased aim walking movement speed, aim walking steadiness, initial accuracy and recoil to kind of make this weapon that much more aggressive and that much more dominant at those mid-range gunfights and for the remainder we have on frenzy for persistency as well as fully loaded just a solid setup that you guys cannot go wrong with and i feel like a lot of people are gonna be able to drop their first v2 rockets using this class setup we're in the setup i have 1911 pistol ghost ford intel lightweight and i have on the gammon bomb and the stem shot if you guys do go ahead and end up checking out this automaton class setup let me know down in the comment section how you guys do. And if you guys end up dropping your most kills, your highest KD ratio, or maybe even your first V2 rocket, which I think can definitely happen, let me know. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those post notifications, man. <sighs> About 70% I watch the content right now are not subscribed. What y'all doing, man? Hit the notification bell, become part of the year's family. Catch y'all in the next video. Deuces.